Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. The average human being produces about five tons of poop in during their entire lifetime, and that is a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, to put that into perspective, that's literally pretty much the combined weight of about two and a half Honda Civics. So, when you're when you're sitting on the old John taking the Browns to the Super Bowl, just think about that. Think about the collective amount of times that you you know, eject shit from a hole in your ass that gets progressively larger as you're, uh, as you're, you know, letting go of your demons or what have you, um, you're actually going to create two and a half full-sized vehicles <laughs> from, from the pits of your own soul in your lifetime, and that's hilarious. So, with, uh, that is now something you can't unknow, and so with that, welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 3, the ultimate driving simulator where we are taking on uh, the Japanese championship. This could be a problem, however. I did not think about this until just now. Um, we're going into this challenge, and that NSX uh, Type 0 could be a legitimate problem, because that car is totally faster than mine. Uh, the only thing that we have going for us in this situation is that our handling is most certainly better. So that will afford us a couple opportunities to make up some ground, but when it comes into these straightaways here, we're not gonna, we're not really gonna get anything additional out of it, and so that could most certainly make this kind of a, kind of an iffy deal. We'll just have to, we'll just have to hope that we can make up ground enough um, while we're going at it here. I think that we probably will, because you know, as it as it goes, we're we're making up a little bit of space every time we hit one of these corners. It's just we gotta hope that when we go into the final stretch, we'll have enough, you know, enough made-up room that we'll be able to, uh, you know, hold them off at the end. I also really have to do a spectacular job at staying on the inside of these turns. Kind of fucked up a little bit there uh, in that last one. I kind of stayed a little bit too far in the middle. I gotta be up on my game here. I think that it, what makes me happy is I don't think that any one of the races we have to deal with are the test course, because if we had to do test course, we would lose. Uh, there's just, there's not nearly enough space for me to make up ground in those long, long ass stretches. So this should be able to be good, though. I, I think this will probably suffice. At least I hope. <laughs> so... I found out something yesterday, and I'm I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it still. <laughs> like, it's really funny. But, like, it's, it's crazy to know how kids are evolving the way that they get detention in school nowadays. <laughs> like, for me, when I, when I was in school and when a lot of us were in school, when kids, you know, had to go see the principal and, or, you know, get detention or whatever, it was usually on fairly conventional means like you know the teacher told you to to do your work and you said no and and uh or you know or uh you know you were fighting with another kid in class or you know in my case in kindergarten I had to go to the principal's office because I definitely pulled a girl's pants all the way off uh in the hallway <laughs> between uh you know between break or whatever god he is motoring why is he going so fast um or, you know, getting, like, conduct cards on the bus because, you know, a kid was pulling a girl's hair and you told him to stop it and he and he kicked you in the knee and so you pushed him into a window, you know, that, that kind of thing. Okay, we need to, like, fend him off this way. Might have to be the way, or maybe not. God, he's so... He's, he's definitely faster than me. That That is for damn sure. But we have the... We have... We hold the advantage here. This is, this is where we make our cash. This, however, is the spot. We got one more lap. All I need is one more lap. Um, but yeah, dude, the way that kids are doing it now, man, it's, it's crazy. I, I watched a video yesterday of a guy, uh, he like, he does reaction videos to all sorts of things, but for this one, it was, you know, crazy ways that kids have, have gotten detention. Uh, and 
Dude, some of them, some of them are so, they're so crazy. Like, they span from all sorts of different levels of school. Like, I'm sure, they're, like, some of them were grade school, some were middle school, some were high school. I'd have to assume that one of them was even, well, they couldn't have been college, because I don't think that they even hold the, I don't even think they even hold the right to make you go to detention in college. Because, <laughs> you know, you're, you are your own man or woman or, you know, amorphous alien blob or whatever the hell it is that you want to be these days but uh there was one where this kid <laughs> this kid i don't even know like i didn't even know that classrooms really even had this but this kid took a lamp just a lamp i didn't even know that classrooms even had lamps like what the hell are these classrooms like resembling now like an ikea pre-made living room or, <laughs> or what but this kid takes a lamp and like unplugs it from the wall throws it across the room at another student and hits him with it and tells them to lighten the fuck up <laughs> That is that is both completely absurd that 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 was the that was the move that they decided to take like it wasn't you know just telling them to lighten the fuck up but they decided to even do it in like an ironic punny way <laughs> you they, they had the wherewithal to grab a lamp out of the wall and nobody saw it and they just chucked it across the room with with uh with pretty pretty high quality you know uh, accuracy, and told somebody to lighten the fuck up. That is just, <laughs> that is, that is amazing. That's, that's really the only, that's really the only term that I've got for it. It, it is amazing. <laughs> and there's, you know, there's other one that, I think my favorite one, though, out of the bunch, out of the whole group of these, was a kid got detention <laughs> because he was pooping on other students for money. <laughs> for money! <laughs> He was pooping on other students. Uh, he was just—he was creating part of that, part of the, you know, the total collection of that five lifetime tons of poop. He was just—he was taking a shit on other kids, and they were paying him money for it. <laughs> oh my God! Who would ever agree to that? Like, I know there are some people that have some weird ass like scat fetishes or whatever, but. I mean, at what level of school, first of all, what level of school was that? Because I don't feel like that's a kind of thing that you develop early on in your life. I feel like that's something that <laughs> generally comes much, much later. Um, but who knows, man? <laughs> it's just, he decided he was just going to take a damn steaming cleaver on these kids. <laughs> and they're going to pay him their own, their own cash out of their own wallets or fanny packs or, you know just things it's just it's unbelievable what some people will do for money there was a kid that i went to high school with um and and there was like one one year i think it was like our junior year of high school and i may have told this story a long time ago but i'll tell it again because it's relevant um this kid definitely during varsity football games would stand over by not like, like you know kind of over by um like the uh, portable classrooms area, because that was kind of one of the hangout areas, and that's it was kind of a high traffic area where people would be walking around, and he would seriously, um, people would pay him money to let them kick him in the balls once, like they'd give him like five bucks, and he just he just let him just freaking trash his junk, and it's just like why, why would you willingly, why would you willingly put your boys through that trouble, man? Like, God, it's such a horrible way to potentially just destroy your manhood, dude. God, I'd almost rather put them in a damn blender than let people just, you know, kick them with their steel-toed boots. Or, you know, like, you know, jab them with their high heels or whatever the hell it is that they're doing. Just, oh, God. But, uh, yeah, pooping on kids for money. I, when I, I, I saw that at work and I just about, I almost went into like a frenzy. Like I couldn't even comprehend it. <laughs> and, uh, another one too. There was another one that was really funny that just like being in this classroom, watching this take place <laughs> would have been so funny. Uh, so this, uh, in this class, I'm assuming it was probably like a, like a middle school because I don't know, uh, I, who, who knows? I don't know. I, I I would assume it was probably middle school though. Teacher was uh, telling this kid to do something and he didn't want to do it, 
and she started getting mad at him and, and all this, and so he decides that his way of, of dealing with the situation was by opening the window, jumping out the window, and just running away. <laughs> He just jumped out of the window of, of the school and just, just started booking it. He just totally ran away from school. <laughs> and then, I mean, the, the worst part about that is, I mean, yeah, you totally got away from school for that day. I mean, you could have run back home and, you know, started having sex with the fridge door or whatever, or, you know, bone in the couch. But, I mean, you still have to go to school the next day. <laughs> like, you're going to totally have to deal with with your actions later. I mean, you're not just going to be like, all right, well, I'm going to go back in and everybody's just going to kind of look the other way on that. Like, I don't really feel like that's how that works out. <laughs> oh, man. Kids are funny, dude. Kids do some weird stuff. Like, I was watching this thing and I'm just like, where do these kids get these ideas for this stuff, you know? Like, it was it was such a, I don't know, maybe just kids have evolved in a certain way and, I, and I'm just, you know, I'm just a bump on a log or something or maybe I you know maybe just we weren't that cool when we were in school you know we didn't have that innate ability to come up with with ultra you know ultra creative ways to to go to detention <laughs> oh man that is funny ass stuff there's another one too where somebody got detention for driving their car into the school but like, not like through the wall, like I've said in some of these other stories, like they're not just blowing through the wall. This kid, apparently, like after school, just drove his car inside of the school, which I'm thinking, how is that even possible? Like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a school of any level. Oh, this is going to be a long one. Is this, is this Route 11? Oh, it is. Oh, God, this is going to be a long one. Um, but I, I can't think of any school specifically that has either A, enough doors anywhere on on campus that are right next to each other that would allow, you know, the fitting of an entire vehicle inside of it, or that anybody would be stupid enough to try that. <laughs> like, like, what is to be gained there? Like, oh boy, somebody took my parking spot today? Well, I got the answer to that. I'm just gonna park inside the school. That'll show whoever it is to ever do that to me ever. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna make my own my own faculty parking spot. <laughs> oh man, I just yeah, it's 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 something. All right, Zero, it is you and I, and I don't mean I don't mean Zero from uh from Mega Man Zero. Who know? I, you know, it could be. I mean, that would be that would be a strangely ironic thing that. Uh, that Zero would be driving an NSX Type Zero. Why not? You know, why the hell not? I wouldn't put anything past these games anymore. They would somehow, for no particular reason at all, all be part of, you know, the same universe for some reason. Even though they wouldn't really, like, lend anything to the story. <laughs> Zero, after finally defeating Dr. Wily, decided that he wanted to get into, into the realm of competitive racing. And so he decided to go out out to Tokyo and bought himself a good old-fashioned uh, good old-fashioned Hana NSX Type Zero, and uh, really started getting really started getting into the circuit. You know, he he became uh, one of the most feared racers in his in his uh, in his amateur division. Really, really shining in special stage Route 11, and uh, you know the Tokyo R246 track. It, there he when when he would show up, all of the other all of the other Mets. <laughs> And uh, and other nameless Mega Man enemies that I cannot think of right off the top of my head. Uh, they they knew they knew when he showed up that they were going to lose until the unnamed mis uh, mystery racer that showed up in a in a Spoon S2000 race car became his new nemesis. I mean, I don't feel I, I feel like there's I feel like it, I wouldn't be too far out of here to suspect that there. There may or may not be some type of weird, like Mega Man Gran Turismo fan fiction that exists somewhere in this in this world. It's, it's gotta it's gotta be somewhere. Like there's no way that that doesn't exist somehow. I'm I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna get around this. By the way, I think the one thing about this car that I love the most, uh, in comparison to the S2000 LM uh, race car that we have is that the handling on this car is 
absolutely marvelous. I mean, I, I've, you know, you guys, you guys have been, you know, witnessing it, and, and I've been experiencing it, and I've just not really said anything yet, but this car handles absolutely spectacularly. It is, I mean, that is literally the reason why we are winning these races, because uh, we are, you know, pretty even, and, and dare, dare I say, we are actually underpowered for this challenge. I think if we were using just about any other car with, with similar, you know, metrics as far as, uh, horsepower and, and acceleration and whatnot goes. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh god! No! You've got to be kidding me! What the hell happened? As I'm sitting here praising this vehicle for that, what happened there? That was... Did I like... It, it must have been when I was driving on the shoulder, I had to have got my tire stuck in in, you know, like the weird little stuff between that and the gate. Oh no! I mean, we, we have now effectively lost this race. There's there's no way that we can come back from this. We don't we don't have enough speed that we would be able to make up that entire deficit in this you know in the span of one lap. It's not going to happen. Go figure. By the way, as I'm sitting here praising this car for how immaculately it handles, that that is the very moment that it totally loses everything, and for the first time in any of these races, it loses control and spins out. You've got to be kidding me. That is the worst. In a time where I really thought that we were going to be able to get a clean sweep of these. That it is absolutely, completely and utterly impossible now. Oh, that sucks. That totally sucks. I mean, we made up about a second there, but... Man, there's no way we're making up six whole seconds. In, in the, the broad scheme of this. Dude... I mean that's another race that we're gonna have to make up now. We're gonna. It seems like every time we get into one of these one of these uh, multi-race tournaments, there's always one race that I that I screw up on for some reason. <sighs> well, I mean if we can get back into like second place, that'd at least be cool. I don't think it's gonna happen, but you know it, it could. It's it's not like it's not like wholeheartedly impossible. I mean we're we're now in third. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. We've got a chance. Dude, if I come back and win this thing, I would be blown the hell away. I just I don't I just don't think there's enough real estate left for me to make up that much space. Well, and we have miraculously cut down about four seconds off of our deficit. That's you know impressive in its own in its own right, I would say. That one turn, man. I can't believe that one turn totally screwed me over like that. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby girl. Come on. We actually still have a crazy remote chance in hell right now. I can't believe it. Oh, this is going to be the end, though. Oh, no. Oh, I know this isn't the end yet. We still have one, one fleeting chance. One fleeting chance. We've got one shining moment. Blah, blah, na, na, na. And we blew it. Damn, man. We, we kind of made a little bit of a, uh, we made a little bit of a, a little bit of a charge at the end. Ultimately not enough. And we're going to, oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You will not take second away from me, at least. I will take pride in the fact that I went and I was able to at least cut it down to second place. It still sucks. I mean, I'm still I'm not happy about it in that in that respect, but ugh. like we we realistically could have won that race if if when I got hit like when I was trying to get out of, you know, being up against the wall, if that one car hadn't like run into me and hit me and forced me, you know, to be stuck in that for longer, we could have actually made a comeback. We could have made a full comeback on that. But, you know what? We'll, we'll take it the way it is. That sucks. We'll come back, you know, after this tournament is over and we'll, we'll fix it up. So when we come back, my friends, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the last race in this, uh, in this tournament. We'll get our prize because I don't think there's any way that we can actually lose this thing at this point. And then we'll go back and make up that race and then we'll call it good and we'll move on to the next challenge. So. With that said, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, 
and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take care.